It will make or break their campaigns. Super Tuesday is generally considered the grand prize of the primary season. Its outcome, however, can only be super for some. Super Tuesday could give us a Republican nominee. On the Democratic side, they're standing toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They're in for the, you know, lots of rounds in this fight. But the tone of the fight has changed. Instead of the mudslinging we saw early in the campaign, both Hillary and Obama have moved to what many would call a more civilized approach. The question is no longer who is better or worse, but who stands a better chance at defeating John McCain, the potential winner on the Republican side. Hillary claims Obama cannot do it. Obama claims... Yes! We can! Obama's commitment to change has inspired the Black Eyed Peas to come up with this new Obama song. But the yes, pro-Obama wave is not nearly as strong as the anti-Hillary movement on Facebook. The Stop Hillary Clinton website, with more than 400,000 members, has already surpassed Barack Obama's. Well, Hillary is a very divisive figure in American politics. And I think you're seeing a lot of young voters, young people who remember kind of the divisive nature of the Clinton presidency flocking towards Barack Obama. Some Republicans have vowed to vote for Obama. Republicans for Obama is a new group supporting what could be America's first black president. They claim he's the one who can unite people across party lines. Hillary Clinton might soon be getting her Republican endorsement from the Republican political commentator Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter, who is one of those hard right conservatives, said, I dislike McCain so much that if he goes, that if he wins the Republican nomination, I will actually vote for Hillary. No one's taking her too seriously, and I'm not sure if Hillary would even want Ann Coulter's support. Known for her confrontational style, Coulter likes to stir up the with irony and sarcasm. She came under attack after calling John Edwards an anti-gay slur. Coulter says she will not only vote but campaign for Hillary if McCain wins the Republican nomination. John McCain, a Vietnam veteran and a former prisoner of war, he has managed to convince at least some of his fellow Republicans that he's the man for the top job. But his pro-war rhetoric will make it tougher for him to reach out to independent and democratic voters. Instead, they will be deciding which is the candidate best equipped to fight against him. Anna Moya, 